Hi guys, today we are going to make some bread. And we're all wearing tie-dye shirts and my fingers are somewhat stained blue because we just did tie-dye, so please ignore that. But we're gonna make some basic white bread. We're gonna make two loaves. Um, we have four loaf pans out for some reason. I'm gonna put two of those away. Okay, so we're gonna make two loaves of bread, just a basic white bread recipe, and the kids are gonna help. So this should be fun. <laughs> All right. First, we gotta do the, we gotta proof the yeast. So what we need is two cups of warm water, and I heated up some water in this tea kettle. Hey Thank you. And it's probably too hot, so I'm only gonna put like maybe a cup of it in. Ooh. Yeah, this is definitely way hotter than we need. We need it to be like the same temperature as like bath water. I don't remember the exact number, but that's what I always do. Everyone stick your hopefully clean finger in here and see how it feels. Yeah, this is... It's like bath water warm. So we're gonna pour this in the bowl. What kind of mixer do you have there? KitchenAid mixer. A fancy uh, professional five model, thanks to my beautiful mother-in-law. So we're gonna use honey for this recipe instead of sugar. We're just gonna put a little bit of it in there to feed the yeast. I'll so, try some. Just hold on, okay? Let me get some in the mixer first. Okay, I'll pour. I'm just gonna put a little bit. Okay. So it's just to feed the yeast. Okay. Hold on, hold on, let me get it off. There you go. Can you pour it in there in the water? Yeah. Yeah, now stir it around in there. Okay. So we need one and a half tablespoons of yeast, and this is dry active yeast. Yes, active dry yeast. Okay, that's good, bud. Take your spoon out. Okay, here. can you pour this in the mixer? Mom, now can I try some yeast? No, we can't try yeast. I'll try the honey. Just, that's not honey, that's oil. I'll try the honey over there. We will in a minute, okay. <laughs> All right, now we need a half. Okay. Bless you. Now I'm <laughs> filming him sneezing. All right, now put this one in. Emma's gonna need to do something next. Okay, there we go. One and a half tablespoons. And we're gonna let that sit for like five to 10 minutes until it gets bubbly. We should mix it a little bit here. Give it a quick look at it. I got it, I got it. Okay. And we're just gonna let that sit for like 10 minutes, probably. How, how about 11 minutes? 11 minutes. <laughs> yeah. You combed it? Mm hmm. What'd you comb it with? A toothbrush? No. With the pink brush that we have. Oh, it looks great. It's a... <laughs> no, it's an ASMR video. Okay. It is. F oh, look at there's some good shots. I mean, it's so active. It's heavy. Okay. All right. So our yeast has gotten bubbly. Look okay. at. And now, don't go on the counter, sweetie. No, no, no. no. Now we're gonna add three tablespoons of oil, and this is avocado oil. Yeah, Oliver, here, you wanna dump this in the mixer? Why don't you take it down? Let's see. Just dump it all in there, okay. please. Okay. All right, good job. And then we need two teaspoons of salt. You wanna handle that, Emma? I don't know what looking. That's just the kind of salt it is. It's Celtic sea salt. Okay. No, 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 no. Don't put your finger in there. I want to try it. Oh. Water, stop eating salt. Oh, God. Oh, God. Now we're going to add a quarter cup of honey. <laughs> oh, my God. That went everywhere. Oh, 
water. Stop eating salt. <laughs> I don't want to tape that shut. Oh, duct tape. That reminds me of an all you see butter on the counter. When he was little. Yeah. You used to eat butter. Whole Look stick. at him now. <laughs> whole stick a day. Whole stick a day. That's a little excessive. And untrue. We did not let him eat a stick of butter a day. Half a stick. No. One time I watched him eat it. So we've done oil, salt, we've done the honey. So now we gotta do two cups of flour. I want you the flour. I'll do that. <laughs> Potter, I need you to move. I can't get in the drawer. So we're gonna do two cups of flour, and I'm trying to Go! trying to scoop and level it here. But my bag is almost empty, so it's like getting everywhere. Okay, there's one. Okay. <laughs> no, uh, I'll just dump it in. Okay, I'm just gonna. Somebody do this. There's plenty more flour to put in. Put your foot down. Good job, Mama. Thank you. All right, now we got to turn on the mixer. So get your head away from it. Oh, jeez. Here, add this. Your third cup. few days um, I bought a sourdough starter and I'm gonna be trying that out I've done it before but it's been a really long time so we're gonna try making a sourdough starter and see if we can start doing that and making sourdough bread but that'll be another video so stay tuned Up. Now, now rub it on your hands. I said dog, the dog hair. Dog hair. Right. Anyway, everybody stop talking about hair. <laughs> Please. All right, now we oiled up this large mixing bowl, so we're just gonna take our dough out of the mixer. Oh! <laughs> okay. All right. Now I want. What are you gonna do with that? I need. Don't eat the dough. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now it just has to rise. I'm gonna have tiny bread. What? Um, there's our dough. Looking good. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover it with a 
kitchen towel and let it rise for about an hour until it's at least doubled in size and then we'll do the next step. Here's our kitchen towel. So clean. There we go. And I'm gonna stick this, well it's, it's pretty warm in here so it just needs to be in a warm area and it'll rise for an hour and then we will do the next part. Okay, so the dough has been rising. You can see it's gotten quite a bit larger. Let's reveal the dough. Oh, there it is. Okay, take that and peel it open a little bit and just butter the insides of these pans really, really good. And while he's doing that, I'm gonna punch this dough down Whoa. and deflate it. <laughs> Punch it. I hope your hands are clean. Okay, okay, okay. Don't abuse it. Okay. And I'm gonna get this out and just form it into two loaves. We got enough for two. Sometimes I do four loaves, but I, it gets kind of crazy, so I just went with two today. All right. And I'm just gonna try to. I'm just going to try to divide this evenly. I'm just going to do it as even as I can. There we go. All right. And then I just like to kind of mush it around and shape it into a loaf shape. Sometimes recipes say to roll it out on the counter and stuff, but I just, I don't know. I like to keep it simple. All right, so I kind of made this a little bit bread shaped and I'm just gonna plop it down in here. And the same thing with the other one. Stick him in his little bread pan home. So now I'm just gonna cover these again and let them rise for another 30 to 45 minutes and then it'll be time to bake. So if you've never baked bread before, it's really not hard at all. I think sometimes people think it's really like complicated or they can a lot can go wrong. It's actually really simple. There's just some time involved because you gotta wait for it to rise. But most of the actual making of the bread is really easy and you can save some money and get like way better tasting bread if you make it at home than buying store-bought. I mean, we buy bread from the store too, don't get me wrong, but we were buying this organic bread from the store and it was getting kind of hard to find. It keeps being out of stock and also it's really expensive and honestly, no one even really thinks it tastes that good. <laughs> so we just started making homemade bread instead. The only thing about it that is kind of a pain is that it's gone in like a day. <laughs> so if you do make homemade bread for your family, you may need to make a few loaves at a time. It's a great way to make sure you know what's in your food and save some money and have fun with your kids if they wanna help you. All right, so I'm gonna turn the oven on to 350 and let that preheat. The bread's done, so we're gonna take it out. Let's see how it turned out. Oh. It's glorious. All right. video we're gonna be using this bread to make some sausage and egg and cheese sandwiches here in just a second and so he's cooking those I hope you enjoyed this video and there's some sausage that we're gonna eat on this bread now and it's probably these two loaves will probably be gone by the end of the night with all five of us 
If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe so you can see some more fun with us in our little homestead in our townhome. And I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.